where you live. But, oh, I think I just went live. How's everyone go doing? So, uh, it's come up a few times. And it's really inter I mean, it's really important to understand that when we start going through these deep personal realizations with ourselves and start to analyze our survival patterns. Looks like my camera is a little smudgy. Maybe it's just the internet. But when we start to analyze our survival patterns and look at our shadow traits, when we start to gain deeper insights into the glue that connects us with certain people, especially relationships that have a lot of drama. It's really easy to recognize relationships that are inherently toxic, but then there's this gray area because what if there's relationships that have been going on for some time, they are in fact supportive and yet there's some toxic aspects to them. So then when we start to wake up to our own toxic patterns and just things that we've been doing subconsciously and we're giving ourselves lots of compassion and just fully accepting those things. Uh, and then there's some friendships, right? Maybe these are like friendships that we've, you know, they've been that source of being able to vent and complain about other people with. So we have this toxic pattern of gossip, maybe. You know, it, I mean, the relationship itself can be really nurturing and uh, wholesome, and but then there's like certain little toxic habits that we engage with because that's who we've been. We've already we we are at this place now where we recognize that we have some toxic patterns. We're okay with it, and we're working on it. And then it's like, but we have to re-relate to all different kinds of situations so you know our morning routines and our just little moments throughout the day and then there's this whole other negotiation with relationships sometimes they are inherently toxic and sometimes it's totally okay to grow out of those and to let go of those especially when you're in a situation where you're being controlled and manipulated there's not a lot of listening on the other end when you feel like you're constantly trying to explain yourself and, and people are listening with an agenda to kind of twist your words and use it against you. That's, that's yuck. It's really, it, it's probably hopefully simple to get that, to be like, okay, actually you are like a toxic person in my life and I need to let you go. But then there's these gray areas, right? There's these relationships where when we start going through a lot of inner work, uh, these relationships are vulnerable to fall apart and I want to give you some more support around that because they're it's important to understand that this is your work to do this is your karma too in a way like you have you've been engaging in your life with your patterns up until this point and there's people who are wonderful and just like you've been wonderful, like you were wonderful before you started waking up. You're a great person, right? And I hope that you can see that about where, you know, you've been, you've had a lot of good intentions and then there's some things that you've engaged with um, in a subconscious way that isn't quite, that isn't healthy. That's not supporting you in your highest potential. But then, so we have to reorganize our relationships. So um, it's not their work to do. It's important to understand that this is your personal work and you can have conversations with like sharing the things that you're going through, asking for personal space, um, saying things if someone, especially like if someone starts to emotionally dump on you, like, oh my gosh, I, this day was crazy. Let me tell you about all these crazy things. And then they start to just kind of unload on you uh, emotionally and energetically. And you don't have the mental bandwidth to be there for them. Um, you can just stop and say, actually, I really like, I don't have the space, the mental space to hear this full story right now. Um, maybe another time, or maybe you you need to talk to somebody else about it because that's what sometimes people do unload when they actually should be seeing a therapist or 
um, talking to the person. If it's like drama, they should be talking to the person and not about them to other people. But it's really a place of finding your softness and your sweetness with these relationships and not making them wrong. And that's especially if you've been engaging in these kind of patterns up until this point to just say like, I'm really in a new space with myself. I'm really just trying to be a little more gentle with the um, with the energy I'm in. If you don't want to use that kind of languaging, you could, you know, just, I'm just really trying to take care of myself and uh, set some limits around uh, what I'm listening to or what, you know, gossip. I And, and you can change the words depending on the person because it's important to make sure that they still feel safe and that you're not, it's, there's a common thing with having a personal spiritual growth, like waking up in a way and being like, whoa, I have been going through a lot of, I've been engaging in a lot of toxic patterns and I'm willing to take responsibility and I don't want to do that anymore. So it's important to not go to our friend who we've been gossiping with and say, I'm not going to gossip anymore and you should stop gossiping too. Like, you know, that kind of thing where uh, like uh, where someone could perceive you as being self-righteous in your growth. And I've been doing this work for almost 20 years now and I have gone through that so many times where I don't know how to talk to any people anymore so I start educating them and people don't want to be educated. It's a really good way to ruin good relationships or relationships that have served you. Um, and you know, people who have been legitimately supportive and just have some interpersonal things that really aren't serving you in your highest potential. So it's important to remember, I'm, I wrote this out. This is your work, it's not their work, but you can you can gently, what's the word I'm looking for? You can gently like keep yourself in a good space, set loving boundaries around you, allowing them to be who they are, accepting them for who they are, and then while, and then arranging your needs according to what you need. Um, and then let's see what was, what else? So, um, and you're really a leader in this too. Like when you start making steps to make your life better, you're you're in a leadership position. You're already doing things that many people in your life aren't doing when you're willing to take responsibility for things. Um, you are teaching people how to do it for themselves too. And it's really good to do that with a lot of love and compassion, to be patient with patient with others and have clear communication. Uh, and that can be tricky too because sometimes we don't have those communication skills. We only know how to be abrupt and be like, get out of here, I need my space. And that's where the real work comes in is to just have like some kind of conversation around, I am going through so many changes right now, I value our relationship and I really need to figure out uh, how we can, or I really need uh, you to understand that there's certain things that I, I'm just not going to be doing anymore. I mean, you know, and it's a case by case situation with this kind of languaging, like, especially if it's a, if it's a friend that used to go to the bar with a lot and you decided to stop drinking, you know, someone you enjoyed, like you would go and like order a bottle of wine and, and share it and, you know, have an appetizer. And that was like your thing. You still, Maybe the conversation could be like, I really want to hang out with you. I quit drinking and, um, you know, is there some kind of non-drinking activity we can hang out and do? Like you want to do something else with me because I love you. I want to keep hanging out with you, but I'm just not drinking anymore. Cool. And you're not asking them to stop drinking. You're, you know, enjoy your wine, but with me, we're going to enjoy a walk outside or something. And... Some relationships are inherently toxic and you will grow beyond them. So those are a little more obvious 
and I hope that you can recognize them and that you can guiltlessly set boundaries around that. So this is what I'd like to give you more of. I've had a few conversations with people and I know this is a big piece that I want to add into the process I'm working with. Um, I would like to know if you want to comment below with some things that you you have experienced, um, some things that you that do work for you and some things you find challenging, just so I can support you more with this. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks for your feedback. I did leave a, a poll in this group. I tagged everybody. Uh, I'd love to have just kind of a... I would like to facilitate a group course around this material and you being I have three of you here there's you guys are helping me with my beta program so you can also help me understand facilitating a group discussion around this material and I think it'd be great to do it specifically around relationships too uh, if there's anything you anything else you feel like we could um, deepen in a group call let me know as well okay talk to you later bye